Here we go, as promised, a quick video on how to save a project if you are in progress and want to continue it. So let's say this little character animation I threw together here on Flip Anim, wavy face guy. Uh, let's say I am not don't ran out of class and I need to save this and can bring it back to uh, Flip Anim in order to continue working. So don't want to hit this save icon. This will be when you're done with a project. You want to hit this gearbox here in the corner. We'll go to hit this down arrow, so download the project file. And it should pop up down here if you're using Google Chrome. Um, if you're using another browser, it might not. Um, if you're also not using a Mac, it might not pop up here either. It may just go to your downloads folder on your computer. Um, but anyways, when we what we want to do now is go back to our Google Classroom page, uh, get to our drive through our Google Apps, and we'll want to find our computer animation folder. So wherever your animation folder is, I'll go here. I have Flip Anim files. So maybe it's a good idea to make a folder specifically for these kind of files. And then I'm going to go to New and File Upload. And then I'll choose this flip anim file that's in my downloads folder and upload it in here. Okay, so now what I would do is let's say I'm done for the day, um, close out, log out, all that stuff. And then I come into class the next day, I open up Google Classroom, I go back to the waffle in the corner, open my drive. All right, let's say I, you know, clear out flip anim here, go to my Google Drive, I'll find my Flip Anim Files folder. All right, then I want to take this file here. I can see when it was last modified by this time, so I know that that's the right file. I want to right click on it and go to download. Okay, so right click or control click. Um, you might also, there might also be a button maybe up in the toolbar that even downloads as well. Once you've downloaded that file, it'll be back in your downloads folder. So again, this is especially useful if um, this is what you would have to do if you're going back and forth between the school computers and your Chromebook, right? Because if you're going back and forth, you would need to do this. Otherwise, um, you wouldn't really actually know you would still really need to do this anyways, but especially more so if you're going back and forth on the school computers. So. Then I go back to Flip Anim. I'm going to start a new tab. Flip Anim, and I'll go to the beta editor. All right, my animation happens to be here because sometimes it uh, keeps them, but if I go to this trash bin, I can remove all frames and clear it out. And then I would go to this gearbox. So this is like I'm at a new project, load project, and I would pull it out back out of my downloads folder. So I guess the part you wouldn't have to do if you were just on one computer, just at home, is you wouldn't have to actually use your Google Drive because it would just stay in your downloads folder, basically, right? So here's the other one, and then here's the one that I got back from when I re-downloaded it. So if you're staying on one computer, you don't really have to upload into your Google Drive, is what I mean. So there we go. And there's my animations back. Um, because I uploaded that file. So if I hit this play button, we'll see wavy face guy come to life again. All right, and then continue working and then hit this save icon when you are actually finished with your project. All right, there we go. So that's the explanation. Hope you guys have fun and luck with creating our animations as we go ahead.